Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for March. Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus placements. Make sure you check all of them to get a clearer picture of what's going on for you at this time. Um, I'm going to be doing things a little differently today. I thought it would be prudent for us to pull a few cards for each one of your seven chakras just to see um, what could be affecting different aspects of your life when it comes to your career, love, communication, um, your spiritual beliefs, your growth, right? And uh, I'm going to be starting off with a couple of oracle cards just to get an overview. And towards the end, I will be rolling some dice to get initials and sun signs and angel numbers for you. So make sure you stick around for that. Uh, and please remember that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Only take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. All right, let's see. Spiritual cleansing, number 50. Interesting. Jealousy. You know, it's so funny. When I was looking at this card of spiritual cleansing, I saw the Hamsa hand and I saw that eye and I was just going to talk about Nazar or evil eye, right? And then we have jealousy right here, number 23. And then we have air. There you are. This is definitely your reading, number 28. Okay, I feel like you need to be very careful about who you're surrounding yourself with right now. I feel that a few spiritual boundaries need to be put up, whether uh, that is with talismans, right, with actual evil eyes, or it is with a few crystals you could use, which is tourmaline, obsidian, and bronzite, or it is just cords that you need to cut internally. Cords with people who could be sapping you off your energy, your positive energy. Energy vampires, right? Now that Pluto is in Aquarius, uh, a lot of the air signs are going to feel this for the next 20 years. And Pluto is not just the planet of death and rebirth. It is the planet of darkness. It is a planet of power, right? So I feel like you need to use this, this energy constructively and make sure that people are not taking advantage of you. And I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but the last few days have been absolutely horrific. I don't know if you guys have been going through this towards the end of February or you went through it towards the end of February, but there are a lot of um, aha moments and epiphanies that March is going to come about with because we have that massive full moon eclipse in Libra happening on the 25th. And as we know with eclipses, the energy is felt a month before, a month after, and during, of course. So um, a lot of changes in equality, changes in relationships, uh, detachment even, is going to come about. The Two of Pentacles wanted to show itself, but we have the Wheel of Fortune for your root chakra, which is absolutely wonderful. The root chakra, everybody's root chakra, is about your foundation. This is about your connection to Gaia, to the earth. This is where uh, you get your stability from, right? This could talk about your security, your past even. It could talk about family, your home. And if you feel that there has been, there have been roadblocks, there have been obstacles when it comes to you truly feeling secure within your environment, uh, the universe is going to be there to help you, of course, with the Wheel of Fortune. But I feel like you need to start taking matters into your own hands, literally. There are people, I'm not saying this could be your immediate family, people you live with, right? This could just be people in your environment who do not have your best interest at heart. Surround yourself with people who celebrate you. The Four of Swords. You may be feeling exceptionally tired. You may be feeling uh, lethargic, lazy even. You may be feeling like you're constantly procrastinating, right? And stop being hard on yourself because I feel like your body, mind and spirit are in that state of healing right now. And you need to respect that. If you push a body that hasn't healed, uh, you're just going to delay that healing. Same goes for your spirit, right? So there is something here about taking it easy, taking a rest and just focusing on that spiritual cleansing right now something happened the tower this is major 
for some of you this could just even mean uh, distancing yourself from family it could mean distancing yourself from your home from your community even right people who have been a part of your life for a very long time <clears throat> almost seeing the truth not seeing um, just the good in everybody because that can be a very human condition but seeing people for who they truly are right believing people when they show you who they are but i feel like there are rewards coming in that is what the wheel of fortune represents for me it represents change after this tower moment whatever shake up this was in your foundation whether this is in your career or in your immediate home environment or within your community or even a relationship whatever shift this has been the universe is coming in with a reward that all right you 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 pull through you pull through right but if you are pulling through a difficult state and you're still surrounding yourself with people who keep forcing you to heal you're going to be a hamster on a wheel right that needs to change be very careful with that jealousy card use your logic use your intuition even with air showing up your element let's talk about your sacral chakra resources relationships this could be your ability to recognize and attract abundance or this could talk about money work but on the other hand it can talk about desires and intimacy on the negative side it can talk about guilt and shame even so this particular chakra holds a lot of information that needs to be tapped into the hanged man yep and it's directly connected to your crown chakra pisces energy there's a little bit of reflection here that's going to take you a very long way um i do feel that a little bit of surrender is required here as well because you have been healing but if you if you start pushing your body to or your mind to <clears throat> start acting and reacting immediately you will get whiplash there is a surrender here that needs to be embraced the fool before you have that energy to move forward and take that leap there is a new vista a new direction that the universe is pointing you to but till you quiet your mind you're not going to see it it's almost like a new desire and this could be anything it could be um literally a relationship this could be a passion project right it could be um a talent within you that you have never tapped into so quieting that mind will show you what this new horizon is that you can move towards may not be time just yet with the two of swords it may not be time just yet there is a little bit of confusion and illusions right here we do have mercury and neptune are uh, conjuncting on the 8th of march and that can make us a little delulu we also have a new moon in pisces on the 10th so all of this neptunian piscean energy uh, can make everything a little hazy for us right and the sacral chakra is one of the last chakras that should be hazy it should be very clear do a little bit of a chakra cleanse right that spiritual cleansing whether it's through reiki it's through crystals or it's through meditation um i feel like you need to focus on your lower three your solar plexus your sacral and your root because these are your first chakras a lot of people think that your crown is the first it is not your root is the first energy goes from the bottom to the top think of yourself as an antenna right it, it's it's entering your your auric field from the bottom and then eventually once your crown is wide open you can communicate directly with source so starting from the root there's something here about your foundation that is shifting and you need to accept this shift before you start making movement movements towards a new change whether this is a connection it could be a long term relationship that came crashing down right don't immediately start dating again give yourself time if you had to well resign from a particular company don't immediately start applying for new companies because i feel like there's more that is going to be revealed to you about your path right you may feel like you've loved the color blue all your life but that quietening that spiritual cleansing is going to make you realize it's not blue that you liked it's always been purple 
you know so once you start approaching that purple with with the correct state of mind prosperity is going to follow faster instead of you having to struggle to receive it to achieve it i hope i'm making sense <clears throat> okay let's talk about your solar plexus this is your identity your personality your self image confidence self esteem your worth and your ego i told you you needed to work on your bottom three something's happened here i don't know what this is your confidence is short your self esteem is short two of swords again i feel like some of you are shying away from your own truth because it may not have been well received in the past that is why the two of swords is showing up multiple times and it's almost like someone's put you in your head that all right you know what you're wrong not realizing that truth is true to you it may not be true to another person and what's happening in this process is you're collecting different truths from different people and you've become a computer that's on the verge of shutting down where is your authenticity don't give a shit about what other people think right now what is it that you want what is going to make you happy what is going to make you feel confident a lot of people when there is jealousy they try to make this this person whoever this is in this regard it's you make you feel poorly about yourself so that you stop growing and evolving and leaving them behind there is growth and evolution that wants to happen for you but i feel like people are pulling you down and you need to stop letting that happen you are on your own individual journey your own individual journey to seeing your seeing your worth to pouring that love into yourself the ace of cups has been modernized into well an offer of love approaching you it very well could be and i i look at it like that multiple times but in this case i feel like all of this information all of this energy needs to be poured directly back into yourself and some of you may be telling yourselves that no matter what i do for people they always take me for granted or they always mistake my intentions it's because that energy is going to the wrong people right if you're going to keep watering a dormant seed it's never going to grow it's not your fault it's just the seed never had any potential some friendships here some connections or even relationships romantic otherwise here do not have the capacity to bloom and you need to move on full steam ahead the chariot is cancerian energy this is also the energy of following your intuition if you're familiar with the original rider weight um there is a canopy of stars above um the charioteer's head right and there are also crescent moons on his armor This talks about trusting your intuition and then moving forward towards victory. This is not trusting other people. This is trusting yourself. I feel like you need to set healthy goals for yourself right now, right? Don't think about the next 5 to 10 years because I feel like whatever's happening here is pretty major. If you put too much pressure on yourself, you're just going to go reeling. Set smaller goals for yourself, right? And keep achieving them. And every time you achieve them, reward yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. because once you do that you're going to start appreciating yourself because that is very important because i feel like some of your self esteem is truly short right here people have made you feel very unworthy and those goals that i'm talking about have to be specifically for you that will help you shine it doesn't matter what other people think this is not about achieving something significant when it comes to um what's expected of you at work what's expected of you in your family what's expected of you in a relationship don't wait for other people to celebrate you do something for you and celebrate yourself <clears throat> let's look at um your heart chakra love right openness to give and receive this love joy happiness compassion and self care <laughs> yeah. I'm loving this. 
some of you are completely emotionally detaching would you look at that the eight of cups leads to the nine of cups i can't make this up the eight of cups is you feeling disheartened you feeling emotionally shut down you feeling disappointed with your reality when it comes to love when it comes to compassion not receiving it right moving towards what not the ten of cups this doesn't involve anybody else moving towards the nine of cups venus in pisces which is literally happening on the 11th of march venus is entering pisces till the 5th of april this is about your wishes your dreams your goals right and for some of you this is also about keeping quiet about your progress keeping quiet about where you're headed not displaying any of this on social media or talking to anybody about it but just keeping it a secret for yourself a secret that you can bask in right if if this is you exiting a relationship this is not you um bad mouthing the other person to them you're right right not not displaying any sort of anger towards them this is just shutting down and moving forward with your life this isn't a display of frustration this is just a cold heart shutting down and on the 3rd of march we have venus squaring uranus venus in aquarius mind you this is that coldness that distance that a lot a lot of us need to adopt because sometimes love can really lead us astray love can lead us astray there's a shocking a shocking understanding of what it is that you truly desire from life with the hierophant this is not about wasting any time i feel like you know where you're headed you know where your sunshine is this is you saying no to any kind of bullshit you saying no to anything that is a waste of time for you because you know your worth finally or at least you will regardless of gender the empress is the queen of all queens right we all have masculine and feminine energies within us this is libra energy venus air this is growth nourishment having enough within yourself so that you can nourish the people around you as well i feel like you're done settling for people who have disappointed you people who haven't who abandoned you people who have made you feel less than you are right people who constantly forced you to heal because i feel like that's what life had become all about healing right that's what the wheel of fortune is telling me with the tower and the four of swords i was speaking to a client the other day and um he was stuck on on a particular situation that was giving him nothing and at the same time there was a fear that he's not going to find the love of his life and i said that while physically you haven't held space for this this person to come to you correctly emotionally you are still holding space for this person there is no room for a soulmate to come in energetically there is no room I feel like you're realizing that that energetically there is no room there was no room for this wish to come true you're making that space now which is why this tower happened and this could honestly even talk about your career even though we're talking about the heart chakra it could talk about something you love to do maybe you've been wasting hours and time in in a particular business that is is bringing you no um emotional fulfillment right this is making space and charting your own territory and moving towards your nine of cups for some of you i'm also getting this could be a family business and you're just like i'm done right this doesn't fulfill me on the flip side it could be that maybe you've been following a particular blueprint that has been set out for you and you don't feel like you're in control this is you about shifting that trajectory and even if it's within the own the, the the same business that we are talking about you're charting a new path doing things your way doing things in a fresh way 
Wow. All right. Let's talk about your throat chakra. This is your self-expression, right? This could be artistic um, expression as well. This is your truth, your creativity, communication, and your authenticity. Strength. There's a lot of growth happening here. There's a lot of taming of the beast within happening here. And I feel like your heart chakra and your throat are very closely linked because this is Leo energy, right? We have that heart right here. This is um, about your fifth house. This is about allowing yourself to play a little, allowing yourself to shine a little, putting less pressure on yourself because I feel like you've been putting enough here. Feel like you have tamed any animalistic tendency tendencies within you and you're approaching situations now from a very mature and level-headed place and I'm also getting with the throat chakra and the strength card that you're not afraid to roar your truth right you know what your truth is you know how what what your authenticity is I was talking about that with the two of swords right here where other people's truths have kind of made a home on your back and you're carrying them around. It's not your business to do that. Your business is your own truth. And I feel like you're done shying away from that truth now. There's a surety about what you're saying, what you're communicating. Very similar energy to water signs with the eight of swords. Some of you may be feeling that if you do roar this truth out, if you do move towards this nine of cups energy of fulfillment for self, you may upset a few people right there may maybe the sudden urge and this reflex to lash out at somebody to scream to shout to feel seen and heard that all right i'm done keeping quiet you know and and then immediately you reel yourself back in and you feel guilty that why the hell did i just do that because maybe you're not used to it that freedom of speech that we're all born with as human beings it's one of the basic fundamental rights that we're born with. But we start suppressing that because of societal norms of social constructs. We need to remind ourselves that we are kings and queens of our own jungles, right? And we have a full right to roar that truth, whatever it is. Don't be stuck in your head about it. King of Swords, eh, speaking your truth. And being very sure about it I feel like this is what is going to add fuel to that fire because there's a surety now earlier that guilt may have been stemming from a place of concern that am I am I going the right way right I, I'm not even sure myself how can I be sure with other people how can I make other people sure of me there is a surety coming in about where you are headed about your north node and I feel like Pluto sitting in Aquarius now is going to do just that. It's going to give you that power. It's going to give you that strength. Six of Wands again. You know exactly which spotlight you want over your head. Trust it. Don't be afraid. Let's talk about your third eye, which is your inner wisdom. Receiving and following guidance, your intuition and your ideas. The Eight of Wands. I'm glad your upper chakras are moving and, and working exactly how they should be. And then we have the King of Swords again. <sighs> there is something here about um, trusting your intuition, right? Sometimes when we're thinking about a particular situation, um, oh, there's construction happening next door, you will hear a drill. Whenever we're facing a particular situation there could be uh, these random light bulb moments right and a lot of the times we can mistake that for fear but it's actually our gut it's actually our intuition it's a higher self trying to communicate with us that look this is exactly where you need to go this is what you need to do right learn to start trusting that because I feel like it's going to get you farther than actual verbal communication with other people ever will Trust your intuition. I'm not making this up. The Queen of Cups, you could have heavy water placements, even if you don't. The Queen of Cups is the embodiment of intuition. She is the psychic, regardless of gender. 
this is somebody who has a whole world within herself and doesn't need validation or answers from anybody external to her. The four of wands, 11, 11, right? You are the master manifester. And you can create this ace of pentacles out of thin air. I was talking about seeds and the dormancy of them and how you may be watering seeds that have no um, value. I almost feel like the way you are manifesting, the way you are speaking to your higher self and your inner child, it is very conducive to the growth of new seeds of intention. Now you are not manifesting from a place of your 3D reality. You are manifesting from a 5D place where your, your 5D is the ideal world right this is where your higher self resides this is your definition of heaven this is the perfect world for you and i feel like you've started walking in that world or at least you will and you're going to start manifesting from that place this is not going to be about oh i am manifesting a high paying job i am manifesting a loving relationship that's all 3d i feel like now you are with spiritual cleansing even, you're manifesting um, a satisfied soul, a clean aura, right? A blissful union between your inner child and your higher self. It's like your language, your vernacular is going to start changing or it already has because you've seen enough pain in the 3D. All right, let's talk about your crown. I'm looking um, at this row as messages from the universe because this is your spiritual awareness. This is your connection to source, um, your spiritual gift, gifts even, and recognition of your divine purpose. It's blocked. It's still blocked because I feel like whoever these people were that have been leeching off of your energy, you still haven't disengaged from them. Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Five of Cups with the Queen of Cups. You need to break free. There is a breaking free from your 3D here that is of primal importance. The Ten of Pentacles is telling me that this could be your family, this could be um, a relationship that you have carefully curated in this lifetime. And it's just a reality for you. It's very difficult for you to disengage from it. I'm not asking you to physically disengage from it because I'm not gonna purposely want you to disrupt your foundation. Energetically, you need to disengage from it. Because within this reality that you have carefully curated for yourself, there are a few people who don't vibe with that 5D reality that I want you to create for yourself. Right? These energy vampires, whoever they are, they're keeping you stuck. Aquarius energy with the star. What are your wishes? What do you wish for when you blow out a birthday candle? Your wishes need to change. Start shifting from the 3D to the 5D. I promise you're gonna be a happier person. And the Knight of Pentacles. This is not gonna happen overnight. This is gonna take time. Spiritual awakenings don't happen overnight. But towers do. So whatever this tower has been for you, uh, for some of you, it could be, wow, it could be a relationship. Look at that. The Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. For some of you, this could be a relationship that's put you in your head. But I feel like the more open you become when it comes to your third eye and your crown, the more fluid the communication between you and Divine Source is, the faster you will be able to change your reality. Because we can't live in the 5D. We're human beings having a human, we're souls having a human experience. We, that human experience does count for a lot. We can't ignore it. But you cannot change your 3D reality by thinking on the 3D. You need to think from a more elevated place to change the seeds that you're planting. There is a spiritual awakening here that is desperately required for you, air signs. And that's only going to come about once you cleanse and weed out the bad seeds. Number seven, if you've been seeing triple seven a lot, this talks about luck, wonderful things being about to happen. 
we have what is this mercury where is mercury right now mercury is in pisces right now it is entering aries on the 10th of march beware of anger because that again is a very 3d concept right whenever you are approaching a situation that is difficult that oh we have aries <laughs> right here um so yeah this applies to both these dice um whenever you're approaching a situation that's difficult try to not engage the warrior within you try and engage the high priestess within you that's going to get you farther than mars will we do have um a square between mars and aquarius and uranus and taurus on the 9th of march which can which can talk about that angle right but once the sun enters aries on the 20th of march and we hit the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere and the fall equinox in the southern hemisphere this is true spring regardless of where you are on the planet this is a true change a change in our reality so we don't have to react to it so strongly hold back we do have an eclipse like i said on uh, the 25th and that can make us pretty crazy as well hold back right feel like a lot of you a lot of us have been barking up the wrong trees and we need to stop because that tree is never going to listen we need to just change the trees we're barking up at all right we have the letters b d <clears throat> h t c z and j these could be your initials they could be the initials of someone you're dealing with doesn't have to be just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today all right air signs that was it i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye